Right, so there's a meter here to collect because there is no account with SSE. So let's just see what they have to say. I've got an update for you. Yeah, the update is there's a meter on the wall for you. It's not in the property. Okay. So that's what you've come for, isn't it? The meter. Yeah, well, it's on the wall for you to collect. And there's no account here with SSE. That's fine, I'm just advising you, the meter's on the wall ready for you to collect. And they said you can go up for it. Just trying to help you. So what is this? Electric yeah. meter. Yeah. And what company's come to collect this today? SSE. And you informed them to collect it, did you? I told them 12 months ago that the meter would be changed. That's what I think you need to And has it been changed? Yes. I mean, they told us to wait for the police to turn up, so... Right, even with police, you won't be coming in. Educate yourself, help yourself, help your family, and stop being terrorists. Who are you paying for your electric? Nobody. Right, why is that? Because if you actually look, look up the laws from 1936 Electricity Act, electricity, gas, coal and water were made free to the people of Britain when they took the gold and silver away from the pound. So there's no gold and silver that backs the pound note, so the people at the time said, so what do we get out of it? If our money in our pocket is worthless, what do we get out of it? And they said, we will give you compensation in the form of all energy will be free. There's more to this story as it unfolds and I'll try and bring some updates further down the line in the near future. In the meantime, there's an interaction now going on, there's audio, I'm just going to keep okay. this video quiet. Okay. Are you still waiting for police? Yeah. Right. So. Do, you, do you want your meter? Pardon? Do you want your meter? We will do in a minute, just we're still waiting for the police to turn up, so... Right. I don't know what we're going to do from here, so we're just waiting yeah. for them to tell us what to do. Right. But you don't know it's civil, don't you? Not criminal. Well, it's through his meter as well, isn't it? It's his safety more than anything now. It's what? Safety more than anything now. No, it's, it's got nothing to do with anyone. It's got nothing to do with SSE. So. Uh, cos I broke, I broke the contracts with them 12 months ago. Um, do you work directly for SSE? So we're a contractor for SSE to come out on their behalf, so... So do you work for Data Morrison then? Morrison Data? No. Oh. But really, obviously, because if that meat is off, then it's a it could be in a dangerous state as it is. That's his concern. It's on wall up there. Yeah, no, but whoever's took it off, the one might not be safe as it is, so... Well, it is safe. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Checked out, but because... I've got no contract with SSE. They've got no legal or lawful right to warrant anybody to come into my premises, right. if you see what I mean. Oh, are you the, are you the occupier? occupier? Yeah, Fine. yeah. Fine, you're the gentleman who spoke to through the door? Yeah. Right, you're Mr. Mr. is a fiction. Right. So. Right, just for safety then. And that's all the issue is, because obviously the meters come off at all, we don't know who's done the work. Need yeah. To make sure safe and responsible to say it's safe. It's, it's been. If we it's, took it off at wall, then that's a different story. Then you know yeah, it's safe and yeah. we've done that because I understand that. Done, yeah. Due to a care to make sure. But it's right. been done by a professional, so. Well, it's been class of being professional, done it, so. Pardon? If not, it needs to be checked out properly. Like it's been done properly. Mm. That's the concern, safety concern. Right. So. But if you come in, you're going to start taking photographs and everything else. Well, it. to make sure it's safe, all we really need to do is make sure it's safe. Yeah. yeah. If you do but what I'm saying is, safe. I've got no contract with uh, with SSE. SSE actually don't exist anymore. Did you know that? Yeah, it's probably been pulled out by Obo. Yeah, but on 14th of May 2018, SSE was dissolved at Company's House. Yes, so because it was an existing company and then was dissolved so it no longer exists to use that logo or to say I'm a representative of them is now illegal 
Well, you so, still got power on in your property then, mate? Pardon? Are you still got power on? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it's, it's, it's got a meter in, it's all safe, it's all being done properly. That's the issue safety, that's the yeah. issue, that's yeah. what we're concerned. If we had to cut off the wall, and you said remove the meter and we took it off and we'd done it and done it safely, then that's not an issue. Yeah. The issue is that somebody else has done it and it's yeah. a safety issue then and it's down to the, well, the grid if they want to come and check it out at some point or do what they do, but our concern is the safety issue. We've just yeah. got the instructions from them. That's the fair enough, that's fair enough. Our concern is obviously it's for safety. Yeah. Yeah, the meter might be off the wall, but if it's not done correctly... How do you mean the meter might be off the wall? Well, if the meter's off, if you've taken the meter off, you don't know if it's done by Dave who just says he's an electrician and does it just around the corner or some random person out at paper, do you? Oh, if right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. we'd have yeah. it off the wall, you, yeah. you don't want it in and cut and turn the supply off, that's different us doing it. I gave... I gave. You can guarantee we, we know it's safe and then anything you do after that, then that's up to yourselves. Right. But anything anything after that, because it's been done as it's done, right. it needs to be checked out for safety. Well, I wrote to the um, CEO of the company right. um, 12 months ago and told them to come and remove well, the meter. That, so and that. if they didn't come and remove it, then it would be removed and then they will be charged storage right. for every day after that. If after 30 days they didn't come and collect the meter, then by a tacit agreement that that meter would then become my property. Right. Well, we haven't been told any. Yeah. We just get sent out to check it. So time. I've, I've got the meter yeah. in a plastic bag yeah. up there on the wall and I've got a copy of the letter that I sent to him right. in the bag with it. Right. So if you wanted to come and collect that... Yeah, I've still waited, I've just not bought it. I've yeah. that fact they wanted to do, but I've said our issue was regarding the safety concern of it. Yeah. And that's what we've got confirming. They told us to wait for the police till they turn up, so... Right. Even with police, you won't be coming in. Well, well so that's what there's instructions yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. So it's our concern... Because like I say... And it, just for the safety of it, God, if it's been done right, yeah. Or as it should be, obviously, it's been took off at wall, it's not been... Yeah. Obviously, the seals are being cut, so it's been took off at wall, so... Yeah. The, uh, the... The actual job was done by a professional. Right. It was done safely, um, and it has been safe for the last 12 months. So are you paying for your electric now, then? Pardon? Who are you paying for your electric now? Nobody. Right. Why is that? Because if you actually look look up the laws from 1936 Electricity Act, electricity, gas, coal and water were made free to the people of Britain when they took the gold and silver away from the pound. So there's no gold and silver that backs the pound up, so the people at the time said, so what do we get out of it? If our money in our pocket is worthless, what do we get out of it? And they said, we will give you compensation in the form of all energy will be free. So that is why all the miners used to get free coal. Right. So gas, electric, water, coal, all that is actually free via the government. Then in 19... 1998 when they turned around and said what we're going to do is we're going to sell uh, British gas and the electricity generating board off to private companies well because it belonged to the people they had no rights to to be able to do that because they never put it to referendum and they never asked the people if they wanted to sell it they just did it off their own bikes so that was fraudulent. So all these companies, Eon, SSE, the, uh, uh, British Gas is owned by a French company now, That's apparently. French. Yeah, yeah. But it, but it, it's all fraud. They don't belong to these companies because we we never said we never okayed it. The people never okayed it. Yeah. So all the the energy, the gas and electric and water is still free to us. So far, what do I ring out for sit and company if need be come to get me to the sort yeah. But that's the main concern is obviously safety now more than just yeah. making sure you done right. So if right. the meter has come off, someone or someone's took it off, you make sure it's safe. If we'd have took it off it'd be, it would have been given yeah. and we said, Yeah, your supply is off then. Yeah. But just how it's been done obviously concerned 
Yeah. It might not be done correctly. That's the safety issue. Yeah. So. But also the issue is, like I said, because uh, SSE now have no property within my premises, they have no legal rights of entry. No problem, then I'll ring up. Warrant to no warrant. Yeah. yeah. Don't know if All right. Come back and see you. No okay, cheers. What's happening? Uh, they're just waiting for police to come uh, and their gaff has told them to uh, just wait for police and, and see what police uh, take it from there. So what's, I mean, what's the discussion been like with these guys? Oh, fair, yeah, fair, they're fair guys. Would you say that uh, they understand what's going on or are they a bit brainwashed? Uh, I've, ju I've just explained the situation to them and they just said, yeah, fair enough. It's, it, I don't think they was under the impression that they knew the law. I've just explained it to them. Uh, and they just said, fair enough. You have actually tried to help these people understand what's going on, haven't you? I have. Yeah, I've tried to put them in picture because not all these people who, who come out on a daily basis doing that type of job actually understand. They're only doing what they've been told. They're taught parrot fashion. Anybody in this whole world, no matter what you do, whether you're at college, whether you're in school, whether you're at university, whether you're in apprentice learning a new job, you're only taught parrot fashion. You are only taught what the people have been taught, what the people have been taught, what the people have been taught. You never know the true facts. Did you offer them the meter back? Yes. What was the response? They just said they got to wait for police coming and then took it from there. Did they uh, offer to show you an alleged warrant? No. Did they say they had one? Uh, not, not in this conversation, no. They said earlier this morning they got one. So it looks like it's a bit of a tight squeeze for them. You want me to watch you through? I can watch you through if you want. No, that's all right. We're getting bumped up the curb. All right. Are you going now? Sorry, mate. Are you going now? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're just going to get some lunch. Lunch? Yeah. <laughs> can you take me with you? <laughs> yeah, well, Greg's around the corner, mate. That's what it is. Just bump you back. I'm going to go. So we're going to get some lunch. You're going to get your lunch now? Uh, what do what you fancy problem. eating? I don't know, whatever they've got around here. <laughs> yeah? There's quite a lot of food outlets out here, fast food. No, I'll just find a local cafe. Can you take me with you? You've got three seats. No, I'm hungry myself. Oh, I'm hungry <laughs> myself. <laughs> well, is he taking Bin with him? <laughs> you, you nearly got through, didn't you? It was a tight yeah, squeeze, that. Yeah, I don't want to eat out, so I'll come back. But no, no, I'm not quite risking it, is there? No, no, no not yeah, at all. Well, thank you. Well, have a good day, pal. Oh, well, yeah, if we don't see you again, you have a good time. Yeah, have a good day, pal, no problem. So, what's happening in society? I mean, this is just, um, you know, people part of the system, uh, earning a living, doing a job. Obviously, they don't question the job they do, but uh, it pays the wages and puts food on the table. And this is some of the problems in society that uh, a lot of people face. You know, where do you get your hen's meat from? Is it hen's meat or end's meat? <laughs> not hen's meat. So where do you get your hen's meat from? Well, you know, there needs to be a mass awakening. That's all I can say. You know, these guys, like I said, just doing the job. They interacted reasonably, professionally, from what I could see. I understand they wouldn't want to confirm anything with myself, but I did try to help them understand there was a meter on the wall for them. and the property owner came out to try and explain everything to them. So hopefully they're going away with the bigger picture. Because the bigger picture is what it's really all about. Will they be back today? Or not? 
So that's two vehicles, hoping to gain entry. Well, you've heard it all from the property owner. Now the meat has been removed and it's actually sat in a plastic bag on the wall. It's there for them to collect. They have no reason to enter those premises now because there's nothing that they own within those premises. So they have no legal or lawful right of entry.